Houston police are asking for the public's help in a shooting investigation. Police releasing images showing a person they are looking to identify in connection to a shooting in Dorchester. This shooting happened on July 17th near Humboldt Avenue and Seaver Street. One person was injured. If you recognize the person in these pictures, call police. Next on WCVB News Center 5. Every American should pay attention on monkeypox. One U.S. city declaring a health emergency over monkeypox. We'll tell you where, plus the support going out to everyone soon. And you know we desperately need some rain. Severe drought right now in about half of Massachusetts. We may actually get a little bit more rain tonight. It's this moisture right here, and it's coming on in. If you have plans this evening, though, don't worry. You can see it's mostly slated to near midnight and after. We'll step you through the full timeline and your weekend forecast coming up. And new this noon, Will Smith formally apologizing for the slap heard around the world. His message to Chris Rock when News Center 5 continues. You're watching WCVB News Center 5 at noon. New on 5, Will Smith is addressing the Oscar slap controversy, making his first on camera apology since that incident that happened last March. Comedian Chris Rock, you might remember, made a joke about Smith's wife, Jada, and Smith walked on stage and did that, slapped him. Smith has since apologized via Instagram, but says he has been unable to speak to Rock directly. I've reached out to Chris um, and the, mes the message that came back is that uh, he's not ready to talk and when he is, he will reach out. Um, so I will, I will say to you, um, Chris, I apologize to you. Uh, my behavior was unacceptable and I'm here whenever you're ready to talk. 
Yeah, and Emotional Smith also apologized to several other people, including Chris Rock's mother. Now to Russia, where the country's foreign minister says he is open to a call with the U.S. to discuss a possible prisoner swap involving American basketball star Brittany Griner. ABC's Faith the Bube explains. Right now, a high stakes phone call between Secretary of State Antony Blinken and his Russian counterpart in the works. It's part of the diplomatic effort to try to bring Americans Brittany Griner and Paul Whelan home from Russian prisons. Russian Foreign Minister Sergey Lavrov now apparently open to discussing the possible prisoner swap the U.S. offered weeks ago and publicly revealed this week. Secretary Blinken asking to speak with Lavrov about what the U.S. is calling a substantial offer. In response, just yesterday, Lavrov's spokesperson saying the Russian diplomat would, quote, pay attention to this request when time permits. But just hours ago, Lavrov appearing to change his tune, saying he plans to propose a time to discuss the possible prisoner exchange because, quote, it would be interesting to listen to Blinken's proposals. The irony here is that while the, the White House went public with their negotiating stance uh, to, in an attempt to uh, speed up the negotiation to get Ms. Griner home, I think it may end up delaying her release and, uh, and backfiring on the White House. The Biden administration has declined to detail the proposed offer. But ABC News has learned U.S. officials are trying to exchange U.S. prisoner and Russian arms dealer Victor Boot for Griner and Whelan. I'm cautiously optimistic that the Russians, whatever it, it, the offer is, the Russians will take it. The family of American teacher Mark Fogel, who's serving a 14-year sentence in Russia on drug charges, disappointed. He's not part of the current offer. And he needs to be part of this deal. And it's still unclear how quickly these diplomatic talks could happen and if and when Russia will actually agree to the offer. But the White House says the issue of Americans detained abroad is a priority for President Biden. In Washington, Faith Abube, ABC News. The White House has reached an agreement with Moderna to buy 66 million doses of an Omicron-targeted COVID vaccine. The Cambridge drug maker says this booster targets the original strain of COVID and the Omicron variant. 105